Hello, Hogzilla here again. And in today's video, I'm going to cover my tips, tricks, and guide to completing the Festival DLC scenario for Tropical 6 called Party for the Ages. This will be an informal guide as I just go through one of my speed runs. So let's just go ahead and get started here. In the meantime, if you like these kind of videos, press that like button. If you have a question, leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. And please consider subscribing. So the purpose of this scenario is to um, get familiarized with the festival part of the DLC. Um, a couple standard things is to get your um, Teamsters and your construction going. Then you need to build um, some sugar for the, the rum factory you need to build. Now I build a lot of this stuff as close to the palace as possible because that's just a requirement that um, later on you're going to have to hold a festival and the festival grounds is going to have to be within the radius of the palace. So I build a couple mansions because it's going to be required later. F fireworks definitely going to be required it uses coconut and logs i get my standard a library in there um, get a few more coconut and log camps here and then i'm going to select a crocodile there's going to be a, a demand later for leather and so um, i could build a, a cattle and then build a tannery but uh, Crocodile gets you that leather immediately. Now I'm going to build uh, tobacco. as um, That's going to be required as a demand later. Pirate Cove, you're going to need it as part of a demand later. Um, fish, you're going to need as part of a demand later. So I try and pre-build as much as possible. Now they're going to ask you to uh, build the festival grounds which we're going to do. I'm going to note that that produce rum. One thing, I'm just going to pause it here. It says 2,000 quantity to produce on the screen based on the level you're playing. So easy, medium, or hard. The amount is going to be the same, I believe, of 2,000. But the number of days you have to produce that is actually going to be um, smaller and smaller to the point where on hard it's it's nearly impossible to do it um, you almost have to build two two rum distilleries and I forgot I think you get attacked if you don't complete it so you're almost better off to put that towards a fort since pirates are gonna attack you anyway um, when um you're on the hard difficulty. So now I do my standard edicts of employee of the month and penal colony. I need to max the budgets on everything. I do a theater and I build it actually in that specific location near the festival grounds because that's what's asked for uh, later. We're also going to need to do a dance school. I'm also doing coal uh, just because coal will bring in money. Our revolution is as yet only in so now I'm just fulfilling the demands of the revolutionaries and the uh, Lord Wyndham. And I'm just taking the money instead of the revolutionaries. Because you're not going to advance to the World War II level. So now I just want to get my fish in. Since there's no clinic, switch the work mode on the chapel. Just waiting for that uh, festival ground to get built so we can start the festival of hard work. Switch the work mode to monoculture. Just get those planks out. Uh, I'm just pausing the theater. The theater just needs to be built. It doesn't need to be actually in use. So now what I'm doing is I'm going to build the uh, banana and the p 
pineapple, as that's just going to be a requirement later that you have that, that you're exporting or producing, one of the two. I was just hoping to get the iron there. I can't remember if iron is required or not. I don't think it is. But it's just nice to have because it brings in money. So now it's just a matter of getting people to the island. You can see I only have like 154 people on the island. So uh, the jobs are real spread out. Like on harder difficulties for this scenario, you actually don't want to pre-build a bunch of this stuff because you don't have the people to support it. And it, it would actually take people away from the jobs that you do need to complete current missions on. So... Uh, but this is, I think, on easy difficulty, so I'm doing a lot of pre-building. As you can see, I did the um, festival, which uh, increases the um, efficiency of the items selected for that work mode, which I believe distillery is one of them. What you would like to do is to like pre get a bunch of sugar into that distil uh, distillery and then run the festival with people working at the distillery. That way um, you're like at 300% efficiency. Um, so now it's just a waiting game to get the uh, required um, rum produced or let the timer run out. What I'm doing now is I'm starting to build uh, houses so that people aren't living in shacks, not paying rent. If you have a fully occupied bunkhouse, it'll actually pay for itself plus a little bit of profit every month. So I'm just going to build uh, entertainment nearby and uh, uh, chapel nearby. We're almost there on the rum. So, okay, we got the uh, rum. Now, um, what I had done with the Pirate Cove is I had sent it out for um, a great wonder. I think specifically I might have done the Stonehenge um, just because we're going to need it later. So I'm just going to get the pirate up right there is the request. So I'm just waiting for that to, to, to get done. Um, and you saw there was a demand earlier from the pirate cove to complete the great wonder. Um, if you get lucky, you can actually get away. I think sometimes you can get it with just one or zero, but most of the time they'll ask for two demands. So now we're just trying to uh, build up our area. This is actually, I just want to back this up. This I don't know why, but sometimes this is like a, a pain point um, demand where they're going to ask for rum and leather. Uh, make sure that you are going out and getting the additional trade route to get the rum and the leather. And then usually those are like 150 or some low amount. And then you need to produce 2,000 rum and 500 leather, which is why you want to have multiple crocodile ranches. So now uh, we just need to produce the uh, rum again. And the leather. Another success. <laughs> and there we go. Um, I completed the uh, scenario or the um, great wonder. I think I did something different there in this video. Uh, it looked like a different great wonder. Well, you did the right thing. There is optional stuff like the festival of appreciation. I just skip it. I don't do it. It looks like I completed the rum trade route. Now I just need to complete the leather trade route. And I'm even going to set up an emergency route to do that.
just building some houses up so that these people aren't living in shacks for free. So now we're just waiting to get the uh, 2,000 rum in here. It's nice to have choices, isn't it? Just a lot of waiting around now in this scenario. Um, what you want to do now is you want to, I believe, have a reoccurring treasure hunt. Um, because it's going to be a requirement. Now here's a whole list of items they want you to bring in. So it's a whole bunch of uh, waiting now. Um, as they produce this stuff. I'm just going to build my great wonder. So that that brings in entertainment money. It's nice to have choices, isn't it? Um, what I'm doing now is just making sure I have enough people to fulfill all the jobs. Uh, because that's actually in a speed run that's a big hold back. Is not having enough people in that uh, jobs to produce what you need to produce. So that's why I'm just going to go in here and look at the um, vacant jobs and see who we can uh, bring in. I built the gold mines earlier because there's going to be a, a quest later. Uh, to have two gold mines and produce gold. And what I'm doing now is I'm just moving my um, festival ground so it covers the Great Wonder. And I think there's a setting to, do, um, to boost the gold mines. And I can't remember if I did that in this video. Just let me know my mandate is running out. Um, I think I'll complete. I'll complete just before that, because this video ain't a long video, so I'm almost actually done with this scenario. Just waiting to produce those fireworks. There, it looks like. It looks like I have the materials there, but I just don't have the people working. Just a lot of waiting around again. Here we go. The fireworks is starting to be produced again. Governor, the people... Uh, we're really close here. Perfect. So we got that done. So now they want you to have two gold mines and then produce 1,000 gold. This is where you would want to fire up your festival grounds. If you have the people there working. And they also want you to complete a treasure hunt raid, which is why you set up a reoccurring treasure hunt. So hopefully you can hit the timing just right. It's nice to have choices. Um, it looks like everyone's working pretty efficiently. I'm not even going to mess around doing a, a one festival. Then having to wait to run the, de uh, uh, the Independence Festival right after it. Um, so we're really close here. We're going to run the Independence Festival, which should complete the scenario then. Um, pretty straightforward in my opinion. Um... And there you go. Um, pretty straightforward, like I said. Um, but um, you just got to make sure to do the stuff in the right order and always kind of keep that cash flow going. If you like these kind of videos, I'll press that like button. If you have a question, leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. And please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.